All right, welcome to this video. And in this video, what we're going to do is to show you how to rapidly bypass some of these AI content de uh, detectors without using any additional softwares. So in previous videos, you should check those out on my uh, page. I did talk about using Quillbot, which is a tool that is paid that can help redraft content to get it to pass AI detection. But I'm going to show you how to do this. I feel like I figured it out with ChatGPT to be able to avoid uh, detection with these. Now, that does not mean that Google or uh, more complex algorithms may not be able to detect your AI, but I'm just going to show you right now how this is working. So what I did to save time here is I wrote a 250 word article uh, via ChatGPT on how ChatGPT will revolutionize the real estate agent uh, industry. And it went over here, the most common one that's being used right now for AI detection is originality.ai. I included a link below. So if you're gonna use that, feel free to check that out. And I did a scan on it and the AI detection, which is the confidence that the software has that the content is AI detectable is 97% confidence that it is AI, okay? Only 3% original. A secondary scan here on writer.com and their AI detector interestingly said that it was 90% human generated content, which is bizarre. I feel like this is not as aggressive uh, on the detection. So if we go to the free AI detector here at content at scale.ai, we've got 100% confidence essentially that this is AI based written content, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here and I'm gonna start a new chat. And what I need to do is I'm gonna paste that here in a second, but here's what we're gonna do. The first thing I want you to do always, and we use prompts and seed content and so forth to tell ChatGPT some information before we write. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna type in, I'm gonna give you some information before asking you to write an article. Do you understand? And yes, I understand, please proceed. Now what we're gonna do is we want to tell the AI essentially uh, how AI content is uh, assessed. So when I go down here, here's what the prompt is. When it comes to rating content, two factors are crucial, perplexity and burstiness. Perplexity measures the complexity of the text and separately burstiness compares the variations of the sentences. Humans tend to write with greater burstiness, for example, with some longer or more complex sentences alongside shorter ones. AI sentences tend to be more uniform. Therefore, when writing the following content, I'm gonna ask you to create. I need it to have a good amount of perplexity and burstiness, do you understand? So we're gonna enter that. Now what ChatGPT is gonna take that information, it's gonna to respond to that. Yes, I understand the concepts of uh, perplexity and burstiness and the need for good balance between the two and the content. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna grab that article that was highly uh, detected to be AI. Now we're gonna go back over here, okay? And then I'm gonna say using the concepts written previously, rewrite this article with a good degree, a high degree of perplexity and burstiness. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste the article in there and then we're gonna let it do its thing and then we're gonna recheck it again. Okay, so it's finished up here. So we're gonna grab this and we're gonna copy it and we're gonna go back over here, right? So first of all, we're gonna to go to originality.ai. Let's click new. So now we have that article rewritten with increased perplexity and burstiness. Make sure we don't check the plagiarism check because that tends to burn up credits. We're gonna scan it. Okay, now the AI detection score 100% confidence that it is original content. Look at that. Let's go over here. Let's get rid of this. Let's put in the new article, analyze it. Let's see what this says. Okay, too many characters. Let's get rid of this line right here. Okay, actually that last sentence. Okay, analyze, 100% human generated content. Let's go over here to the free detector. Okay, and let's see what that says. 100%. So just by adding in increased levels of burstiness and perplexity, 
we're getting 100% human content scores on all three AI detectors. Now, one of the main benefits out of this is not having to use another tool. The second thing is, is that increasing levels of burstiness and perplexity is less likely, in my opinion, from what I've seen in my testing so far, to cause good, well-written content to look cruddy, okay? So you're gonna have to test this with a lot of different things, but I've done this at least a dozen times with very similar results. Now, sometimes we're only getting to like 80%. I guess it's gonna depend on the type of content that you've got, but right now, even just with a generalized article here, adding in that extra prompt is going to change the variations of the sentence structure and so forth that's gonna fly right past these AI detectors. So get using that. Make sure if you like this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We got more information coming along the way to get some AI success. And of course, feel free to comment below on how this is working for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.